Now, has your vision changed over time? I mean, it's meant you had one he here and then it changed in some form or fashion. And if so, how? I'm sure. Uh, my vision for myself has changed. My vision for my, I think in each case it's broad, but been refined in different ways for myself, for the institution, as I yeah. think about the country. That there are changes, there are differences. For the university, um, uh, for years we have seen our institution, UMBC, as a place that is a major resource for this region and for producing all kinds of leaders from the sciences to the arts. But we've been growing in national stature and now more, and more than ever we're seen as a national model, mm. public universities, uh, as a one of the few examples in the country of excellence and diversity, diversity meaning international and domestic diversity, and as a, uh, a an, an extraordinarily entrepreneurial place with dozens of companies that we've created here. So it becomes a model that we talk about, that I talk about around the country, that has national implications. For myself, uh, for years, I was focused on the academic side and truly interested in seeing how to s support building excellent programs at the mm. institution where I was working and um, making UMBC the very best academically in terms of research and teaching mm. and all of that's still very important. Then we added on the entrepreneurship part and research part and entrepreneurship and so I became more of a business person getting connected with corporations and understanding uh, much more about partnerships between companies and the university and most recently for me personally uh, my work with foundations, mm -hmm. with the issues of poor and working class people in understanding the challenges that they face um, has become an important part of what I'm